Welcome back. Today's lesson is percent and double number lines. Our standard is 6RP3, understanding ratio concepts and ratio reasoning to solve problems. I can use a double number line to solve a percent problem is our I can statement. Oop, that was a little fast there. Awesome. Make sure you get it all written down and then hit play when you're ready. All right, today in class we talked about using a double number line to represent something happening in a rate problem. Today we're going to do that involving a percent instead. So percent we know means out of 100. So we're going to use a double number line. One line of our double number line is always the percent. I like to put it on top. So it goes from 0 to 100%. And then along the second line is 0 to our total amount from our particular problem. So get that jotted down as a reference and then we're going to try a couple of them together. All right, our first example should say what number is 25% of 60? So get that down, set up your 0 to 100% and your 0 to total, and we're going to start walking through this example. All right, our percent is 25%. So we need to figure out how many times does 25 go into 100, or how many quarters are in a dollar is what I always say. So there's four quarters and a dollar, so we need to divide our number line into four. Now, of means 60, so right above that word that says total, we need to fill in the 60. You would have done that first, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would have done that first. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, so back to what we were talking about. So we need to label our lines that we just made on our number line 25%. 50%, 75%, and then 100 is already labeled for us. We have four sections to our number line. So off to the side, we need to figure out what 60 divided by 4 is. So what is our total divide, oh. what are you doing, boy? divided by how many six sections we have? So our total is 60 divided by our four sections should give us, what, 15? So we know each number line on the bottom is now worth 15. So we have to count by 15, then 30, then 45, and 60. So we have four equal increments of our percents and our total. So we then, to finish the problem, need to go back and figure out what number is 25% of 60. So we look below the 25% and we have 15. Our answer is 15 is 25% of 60. All right. Might be a little confusing. It's a lot of steps, so let's try another one together. So jot this one down, get your double number line set up, and then we'll get ready to go. We want to know what number is 40% of 50. So I like to start with my total. 50 is my total amount. That's my 100%. So I'm going to write my 50 down here as my total. Now, Mrs. King talked us through it last time. We want to find 40% along our percent line. So we got to figure out how do I break up between 0 and 100 to make sure I land on 40 at some point. Well, we've got two choices. We could count by 20s, or you could count by 10s. I'm going to choose to count by 20s. So 100 divided up by 20 means five sections. So I'm going to break it up into five 20, 40, 60. equal sections. That's pretty even. Nice job. Oh, that was pretty good. And then I'm going to count along 20%. 40%, 60%, and 80%. Now, I need to do the same thing with my total down here. I want to go up to 50, but I need to break it up into five equal parts. 50 divided by 5 is 10. So along the bottom of my number line, I want to count up by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, and if I did it right, 50 is my total. And now I'm finally ready to find the answer. What is 40% of that 50? So I find 40% on one line, and I find what does it match with on my other number line. In this case, 20 is 40% of 50. So my answer in this one is 20. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more comfortable with it. Let's try another one that's just a tiny bit different this time. All right, it says 21 is 70% of what number? So we don't have to, the answer of the total, that's what we're going to find, question mark. That's a good idea. Um, we cannot count anything but 10s, I see. So we need 
nine lines or ten equal sections? Uh, it's always the first one that's off. So let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay, that's totally Mrs. King, 90. All right, <laughs> that was close. 10, 20, But we need to choose something that would allow us to land on 70 at some point. So Mrs. King said, let's count by 10s. It's easier to count by, but harder to draw. See if you can make yours a little more <laughs> even than mine is there. All right, this time 21 is our part. So 21 needs to go With underneath our 70. the 70. All right, how many sections do we have available before the 21? So oh we my wanna... gosh, you need to talk on the sneeze. All right, so 70, that's our seventh mark, is 21. So that means we divided up seven groupings to get to 21. So 21 divided by 7 means we must have been counting up by 3 each time. So we need to start at 10% and count up by 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. If it does not equal 21 at 70%, you've counted by something wrong. Then we need to go back and adjust. Then we need to keep going. So 24, 27, and then the total would be 30. So we have now answered our question. 21 is 70% of 30. So of what number is asking you for the total, and we have found that it is 30. So this one's a little trickier. The 70 and the 21 matched up. We kind of had to work our way backwards to figure out the rest of the numbers. But possible. Let's try one last one. So please get the word problem jotted down, and then we're going to try this one together. There was $1,200 available for field trips at the school. That sounds a lot like that was the total amount available. So I'm going to write 1,200 down here as my total. 30% of that was available for 6th grade. So we want to find 30% of that total. Well, in order to break up 0 to 100 and make sure I land on my 30, I'm going to have to count by 10s. So let me so oh. <laughs> I think it's that part of the board. I'm going to blame it on the board. Okay, whatever you need. So that's 40, 50, 60, 70... 80, better, 90, better, and 100. Better. All right, 10%, 20%, 30%. So we want to make sure if we did it correctly, we should land on that number we are looking for. In this case, 30%. You still need to label everything, not just the piece that you wanted. All right, we need to go to our total and figure out how much section the bottom part of our number line is going to be worth. So again, 1,200 divided by 10 sections is going to be 120. So each section is worth 120. So, so we're counting up by 120s. 240. Think of it as counting by 12s with a zero at the end of it. 480. Doing a fantastic job. You're so much help. 960 and 10, 80. 80. All right, last step. Go to that 30%. Look underneath it. And we have $360, and see if your answer makes sense. Is $360 30% of what was available for sixth grade? Sounds pretty good to me. All right. Remember to fill out your survey question when you're done with the video, and then we'll go over more of these tomorrow in class. But if you had trouble, go back, rewatch our explanation, see if that helps seeing it a second time.